Okay, for the compensated system uh, analysis, we have to determine the closed loop transfer function first based on figure P. Uh, for PI compensator, we have to add pole at origin and also zero that close to origin which is equal to minus 0.1. Uh, in this case, the closed loop transfer function can be determined directly from the open loop transfer function where for the numerator of the closed loop transfer function, it is actually equal to the numerator of the open loop transfer function. For the denominator of the closed loop transfer function, is equal to the denominator of the open loop transfer function plus the numerator of the open loop transfer function. So, given for the compensated system, the gain equal to 158.2. So, we use this gain to determine the closed loop transfer function. And we have this one for the denominator, which is from the denominator, we can determine the closed loop poles. In this case, the closed loop poles for the compensated system is minus 11.55, minus 0 0.09. And also, this complex conjugate poles, which is, this is... Uh, these are the compensated dominant poles. Okay, so we choose the top left of the uh, dominant poles in this uh, compensated root locus with uh, gain 158.2. The black one is the open loop pole. We have minus 1, minus 2 and minus 10, the original uncompensated pole. And we also have PI compensator pole which is pole at origin and also zero that close to origin and we also have uh, the third pole for compensated system for closed loop compensated system okay closed loop pole uh, with the green symbol which is equal to minus 11.55 and we also have the fourth pole for the closed loop compensated system which is uh, equal to minus point 0.902. So adding an integral compensator PI with a 0 at minus 0.1, we obtain this root locus. Okay. Um, for k equal to 158.2. So the fourth closed loop pole, which is equal to minus 0.0902 which is almost equal to zero is enough to cause the pole zero cancellation in this case. Okay, this pole will be cancelled out with this zero and negative zero point one. This figure compares the uncompensated response with the ideal integral compensated. Okay, the black one is the uncompensated response, while the green one is the ideal integral compensated response. The step response of ideal integral compensated system approach UDT in the steady state while the uncompensated system approach around 0.892.